Can you hear me? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Hello? Yeah, I think you are muted. Yeah, that's why I can't hear you. Yes, yeah, so just um, please unmute your mic. Oh, your microphone is broken. <laughs> okay, how do we do that? Can you change or do you have any extra mic? Hello. Oh, yes. Now I can hear you clearly now. Okay, that's better. All right. Anyways, how are you today? I'm fine. That's good to hear. Anything special for today? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Don't interact today. Mm, okay. And aside from that, what did you do? Yes. I learned. I learned. Okay, that's great. All right. Anyways, for tonight, we're going to continue to study your book. Right, so I guess we're on the process of a review, okay? So let me share it with you, please wait. Okay, here it is. Can you see your book? Yes, okay. So in this part, you have to listen and take the correct time, okay? Since we don't have an audio, I'll just ask you, I will ask you on what time is it, okay? In the letters that I'm going to tell you, okay? All right, so let's try. Please wait. Okay. All right, number one is, can you please tell me what time is letter B? Oh, with my journey. Sorry? It's half past nine. Okay, it's half past nine. Correct, okay, I'll just write it here. Here. You said it's half past nine. Okay, what about number two, letter C? Um. Yes. What time is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I don't know. All right. Okay, so since the smaller line is um, pointed into num number 10, okay, and the longest one is pointed in 12, so it means it's 10 o'clock, okay? It's 10 o'clock, okay? All right. So let's do number three. Okay, number three is uh, what time is it in letter A? It's five, Cardi. Exactly. Or you can say it's half past five. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to write it. It's five, right, so five thirty. That's exactly right. Okay, next, uh, number four is hmm, letter B. What time is it? Okay. I think it's um, yes, go on. Right now. Okay, you can try. Just guess. Yes. Yes. It's a quarter half three. Quarter half three. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yes. Thank you. All right. So nice try. Okay. So anyways, as you can see, the small line. I mean, the small line. Yes, it's pointed to. Okay. It's after number five. Okay, so it means it's five, right? It's five. Okay, and the longest line is in three. So when we read the time, we will not say three, right? Because since it's um, on the ten, power of 10, so 10, or I'm sorry, five, 10, 15. Right, so three is fifteen. So it's five fifteen. Okay. Okay. So that's that's how you read the time. Okay. Next number five is um. How about letter C? Yes. What time is it? Number five, letter C. Ah, uh -huh. what time is it? Yeah, that's number five, letter C. It's eleven forty-five. Exactly. Okay, very good. Eleven. It's eleven. 45 okay and number six is okay what time is it in letter b uh, 
Unless you were me. Quarter past three. Quarter past three. Okay, try to look again. Mm. All right. Okay, so your final answer is quarter half past three. Okay, so the answer is okay, look at the small one, small line. It's in number seven. So it's not three, so it's seven. So we need to focus on the small line first. It's seven. Okay, three is what number? 15. Okay, yeah. it's 7 15. All right, so the, that is how you read the time. Okay, so once again, if it is the long one, all right, so you need to do yes. The hour and the, the short one is me. No, um, the short, the short one is an hour. It's an hour, yes, correct. The long one is a minute. Exactly. All right, so that is how again you're going to read the time. Okay, anyways, I, I can see that you know how to read the time, it's, it's just that. There is sometimes that you are confused of the numbers. <laughs> yes. But anyways, that's a good job. All right. Now let's go to, okay, working in pairs. All right. So since you, since you don't have a pair, so you just have to do it by yourself. So you have to make sentences on what is, okay, in the picture. For example, when I went into the park, Okay, let's say when I went into the park, I saw a dog and we played. And after that, okay, a boy was drinking water. Okay, so something like that. Okay, so you can uh, make your own sentence according to what's in the picture. All right, so let's start number one. When I got in, sorry. When I went to the park, the boy was drinking water. Okay, the boy was drinking water. That's correct. Okay, I like that. Good job. What about number two? And then. I go to walk around. I see a girl. Um, I see a girl writing her diary. Her diary. Okay, that's correct. But since it's in the past, so you will use I saw. Okay, not see. I saw girl. Girl, I mean girl writing her diary. Okay. All right. Now let's have number three. Yes. Number three. Next to the girl. I see the other girl eating an apple. Okay, an apple. That's correct. Very good. I saw a girl who was eating an apple. All right. Okay, that's a simple sentence, but it's correct. Okay, next, number four. Okay. Yes. Can we do number four? Hello. When, when I go to the playground. When I went. When I went to the playground, I see a boy 
I, I saw. I saw a boy walking his dog. Okay, walking his dog. Very good. All right. Next, number five. And then I saw a woman who meets the birds. Okay, I saw a girl. A girl? Is it a girl or a woman? A woman. Yes, I saw, I saw a woman feeding the birds. Okay, exactly. Number six. Mm -hmm. When I go out the playground, I see. I saw. I saw. Listening to music. Okay. I saw a girl listening to music. Okay, that's right. Next, number seven. Um, in number seven, yes, go on. When I go to a roundabout, I see the boy and the girl play. Football. Okay, again, it's I saw. <laughs> okay, don't forget, it's in the past form. Okay, so I saw. I saw. I saw a boy and a girl who play their football. Exactly, very good. Okay, next, number eight. After you saw them, what can you do? I was running to the to the Dodge Jam cars. Oh, to the Dodge Jam cars since that's your favorite. <laughs> okay, next number nine. When I was playing playing Dodge Jam cars. Uh, I can see. I saw again. I saw. I saw the girl riding a bike. Riding a bicycle or a bike. That's okay. All right. Very good. And lastly. Last. When I go home. When I went home, okay, go on. I see my brother person riding a skateboard. Okay, yes, riding a skateboard or playing. Okay, we can also say playing skateboard. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so I can see that you can actually deliver your words or your sentences um, with your own thoughts. Okay, that's correct. But you need to take note that everything in this situation is in the past. So you need to use the past form of the verb, okay? Okay. All right, so that is how um, verb works Okay, in the past form. All right. Anyways, let's go to, okay, forces. So let's talk about signs, forces. Okay, have you learned this one in your school before? About the force, like push and pull. Yes, do you know those words? Yes. Okay, what do you use? Okay, for you to push or pull a thing, what do you use? 
I push the table. You sing your what? Okay, you when you push the table, you use your hand. Hands, okay. And of course, if you don't have a force, okay, or a strength, you can't push, okay? You can push a table just like that. <laughs> yes, push and then pull, all right? So that is actually an example of force. All right, so let's try to read and circle the sentence. Let's say, I mean, let's see if you answer the words correctly. Let's do number one. Okay, please read a push. Okay, number one, please. Okay, please read and answer. A push is a force away, away from the center of the force. Okay, is it away when you push something? Are you away for it? Yes. Mm, okay, let's see it. All right, so you say away from. Next, number two, a pool. A, a pool is a force toward the center of the force. Okay, towards the center of the force. So once again, all right, you say a push is a force away from the center. Okay, away from the center of the force. And when you say a pull, it's a force towards the center of the force. Okay, so this is uh, the picture. I mean, these are the pictures that shows push and pull. Okay, can you see that? This one. Mm -hmm. Yes, all right. So now let's go to, okay. All right, so just look at the pictures which show a push and which show a pull. Okay, number one. Um, a pull. It's pull. No, it's push. Okay, push. Number two. Push. Push. Three. Push. Four. Pull. Pull. Exactly. All right. So these are the things um, that you can basically or commonly see in the, uh, let's say, yeah, like a daily, um, how, how do you say, daily activities. Yes. So for example, when you do like this okay when you do like this it means what does it mean this is what what's this it's forces yeah forces okay so when you do like this that's a push and when you do like this it's pull yes okay so this time let's go to okay read and write the name of the force in the picture Okay, forces around us. So please read. Why does an apple fall to the ground and it drops from a tree? Why do people blow about in the air? The air is to block this question. It's a very important force. It's called gravity. Gravity pulls against the bush. Without it, we could all fly off in the sea. Exactly. All right. So I guess it is already discussed with you in the um in your class. Okay. So yes, do you study science?
Yeah. All right. So have you heard of the word gravity? Mm -hmm. Have you heard of the word gravity? This word. Okay. Yes. So what happens again if there's no gravity on Earth? Because other things in Earth would Yes. Yeah. What will happen if there's no gravity on Earth? Mm -hmm. What do you think will happen to us? Just like um, in the picture. Okay, if there's no gravity there in the tree, so it means it will? It will fly. Correct, very good. So just like us, we are also part of the earth. So if there's no gravity, we will just also fly off. Okay, yeah. we can step on the ground <laughs> either. Yeah, so we can do that as well. All right, so that's why gravity is an important force in or on the earth, okay? So what do you think, okay, um, is the name of the force in the picture? What force is this? Is it like falling on the ground when it drops? For example, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, for example, when, um, what's this kind of fruit? Is it an apple? No, it's an orange. Oh, something like peach or, yeah. All right, so yes, let's say it's an orange. So, okay, look at that one. So the orange fall off the ground. It means that the gravity, I mean, sorry. The force is called Yes. There's a there's a name of it. When it fell or when it falls, it means we have the so-called force. Gra what's the name? That's gravity. Gravity. Okay. So, if, again, if we don't have a gravity, what will happen to this orange? Should That's right, okay. It will never fall. <laughs> yes. Okay, so, again, that is, uh, I mean, that is how force works in our, um, Yes, in our planet. All right. Anyways, do you have any questions? No. No. All right. I guess you understand um, what's the lesson all about. Anyways, thank you so much for tonight and see you again. Goodbye. Bye-bye.